Oh, there's actually one handheld that I actually saw that actually kind of intrigued oh. me. You oh, ever shit. hear of this oh. one? Reese, oh god, the game crashed. But I'm just getting started, so it, the, the night is young. <laughs> In fact, here's the next game. What's our next game? Family Computer, the big game, Super Mario Brothers. This was an actuality more of an emulator, but what was cool about it is that it actually is that it actually had PC component, like you know, a way to actually run programs on it. Okay, can I just say this, Reese? Um. The, the Japanese commentary over this makes this look way more insane than it actually does. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's like that just looks like Mario. Then you hear the commentary you're like that just sounds like for something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah, zero. I nope. kind of like this Pandora because it actually worked. Because nope, kind of want to watch the crazy Japanese ads. Forgive me. That's all right. Well, that's quite all right. I I uh. I've spent quite a long time gathering up all the Japanese ads, so I figure may as well showcase them sooner or later. Alright. Oh, you actually are you actually playing the game now? Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing the game. Okay, okay. Yeah. This, so yeah, this, this thing I've I've been doing over the past year and a half now is that now I play the ad for the game and then I go straight to the game. Awesome. Oh, God, this is it. This is the game that pretty much started it all. Pretty much this game raised a whole generation. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, Ninja the Pandora is pretty interesting. They actually made another version with the art with, with an ARM uh, CPU in there that actually somehow made it play StarCraft. Seriously? Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, but the ARM, uh, the ARM CPU one has the one with 600 hertz. Or 600 megahertz. So, that's actually pretty impressive when you think about, like, when you see all this, it's like, this is actually kind of cool because it is more of a homebrew hacking kind of thing. Like, you know, you can actually, like, make stuff on there. It's basically a custom handheld, but and it's basically mostly used for emulators. Like, it shows right here, it can actually play PlayStation, N64, Amiga, NES, Jaguar, and Mega Drive, and any other kind of stuff you can get. But, this is interesting, that the fact that this thing is actually kind of cool. It has... It has all the things you need. It has a D-pad, buttons, sticks. Alright, now I'm gonna gush over Mario for a little bit. <laughs> Just... Mario! I gotta be honest, it's... Every, when I watch that first level, uh, considering I've actually read that the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog actually, the reason he kind of made that game was because he kept trying to speed run the first level. I just picture him getting pissed off trying to speed run that level. <laughs> no, seriously, that's how the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog got started. He tried to speed run the first level of that game, and I think he kept dying all the time or something like that. Would you be that surprised? You know, I just I just look at this and I think this this game has this game pretty much raised a whole generation. God, well, it has you. For the mafia, what should I do regarding the playthrough? Should I should I just, try all the levels or should I try to speed run it myself? Yeah, you know, go as long. I'd say do an endurance test. Go as long as you can. Yeah, yeah I mean, which version is this? This is the original NES version. This okay, is not... cause I don't know why I was thinking maybe it has been like, you know, an updated Mario version that actually had um, <laughs> Mario 2. Um... Oh, the, yeah, the, the one that included the, the lost levels, which was just basically Mario 1, but the level designer was Satan. <laughs> That's how no. I describe that game. It's just Mario 1, but Satan's the director. No, 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 here's the thing, though, that makes it different from what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is that it is... Mario 2 by adding in the evil things they did to the game like they think if they had Mario 1 but they had the wind from the game the poison mushroom the unequivocally evil jumping that they had to give you like basically it was just a hard mode packaged as a as a, as a separate game that's really what it was it was a separate game but think if they actually added that hard mode into the original would have been 
Oh yeah, you have it? Awesome. <laughs> I'm I sorry. To, just... I, I brought it to the meetup. Awesome. I, I just have a vendetta against the Lost Souls. I really do. You think you and everyone else? In fact, I remember watching an episode of Game Center CX. <laughs> they went insane, didn't they? Yes, because <laughs> that fucking they jump. Yeah. yeah. I re I remember I remember that part that they brought in the little kid. Yes. You know. And they're like, wait, you mean you could beat this? Yeah. And he did it within like an a, like two hours or so, and everyone's like, what? I was. Whenever, whenever I hear the excuse they didn't bring it to America because they thought it was really difficult, you know, to be too difficult, I always think back to, back in the thing like 2004, 2005 or so, when Capcom launches Devil May Cry 3 in the U.S. and pretty much makes the Japanese hard mode the American normal mode. <laughs> I just, I think that, that very moment realized, well, we can't make anyone happy at that point. <laughs> Yeah, we can't do a damn thing. I just, I just keep thinking back to that because it was, I think that was like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, give them a hard game. Like, oh shit, we fucked up. Still, yeah, that's why everyone hates Devil May Cry Three because the game lies for its difficulty. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it what lies? lies? The, the special edition fixes it, but yeah, if you buy the original version, yeah, you, if you play on normal, it's basically the hard mode for the Japanese version. Or you can pussy out. But our princess like is in another bitch. castle. By the way, Toad Fuck is giving. You. By the way, when you look closer at the sprite, Toad's giving you the finger. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You by the way, you gotta admire the dedication mark. He has to do this shit seven times before you actually get into the right castle. You know what's kind of funny is that I remember there was a uh, a guy did a funny comic of this. Of, I mean, it was like. <laughs> I'll be sure to find this. It was basically a porn thing, but it basically showed Mario going to every castle, and it showed a, like a toad at every one. And I'm even gonna talk about what Bowser does to Peach. You can all use his imagination. Like, but like, is this one of those like Newgrounds animations when we were kids? No, we, that's how we discovered porn. Actually, it was a comic. Okay, because uh... yeah, I would show it to you, but I'm not because I'm because I'm gonna I'm not even gonna bother telling you what Bowser does to Peach because, like I said, use your imagination. Here's the funny part about the whole thing. This, it shows Mario every time he gets to the new castle. It's like, sorry, man. He's not, it's like, sorry, she's not. She's in another castle, and you see Mario like slowly, slowly turning angry, and then you see one at the black, at the black oh, toad, oh, shit. and he says, "Sorry, motherfucker. He, he, he like, she ain't here. The bitch this ain't old, here." This is a really old Newgrounds animation that I still love to this day. It's basically the Prince is in our castle. Okay, Prince is in our castle. He gets, he's get more and more frustrated. And then he finally meets the princess. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm not the princess you're looking for. And Link walks in the room. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, okay. Thanks for saving my girl. <laughs> and then he just goes crazy and kills everyone. <laughs> it's it's an old new crowd of animation, and it's just funny when funny shit I've seen as a kid. My overall favorite was uh, Super Mario Mishaps. Oh shit, those were funny. I, I was a huge fan of Randy Saul and VG Reality and the, the, that that entire. I, I hate to say it, but I was a fan of that click. Alright. Oh god, my least favorite level in the game, probably this one. Really? I, I always treat it as a bonus stage, mostly because every time I come in, I always have firepower. Really, really, really hate this level, just... Probably because I just think the swimming's really, really floaty. Which, then again, then I just said that, it makes me sound like an idiot. <laughs> Those squids. Those squids are about ready to feast on Italian meat. Oh my. <laughs> Just walked right into that one. Oh god, or, now I can't get that image out of my head. Or, 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 or as Mario would say, Mamma Mia! Or, Mama! Ma Mama! Oh, Mama! Mama Mia! Mama Mia! Mama Mia. <laughs> Mama, Mama, Mama! Oh, Mama, that's a spot! Welcome to the late nights with Reese Kane and friends. If you have children, please, if, if you have children, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> if you don't have children, please still subscribe. <laughs> if you don't have children, 
uh, spend the 10 months required and get get some children and come back and subscribe. If, if there are children in the room right now watching this, two things. One, you may want to call them out of the room. And no, one, you may want to call them out of the room. And two, why the hell are your children up this late? You are a horrible parent. Well, they could be on the other side of the world. Don't you know it's a school night? Yeah, it is. <laughs> school night? <laughs> Bullshit. Ah, whatever, what I got insomnia, what? I can stay up. Wait, it's not a school night, Ninja? Nope, we have spring break. Fuck you, fuck, I, I actually have insomnia, so that's why I'm up right now. I, my medicine hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> I've been out right of school for so long, I forgot when spring break was. We don't have right. spring break, we call it March break, because we don't get spring in March in this country. Right now, I'm enjoying the chilled air that's blowing outside. Oh, yeah, it feels oh, amazing. You, yeah, you're so yeah. The snow. I'm guessing down. At, you live in Toronto, right? No, I'm in Alberta. Okay, I keep thinking of me. Uh, okay, the snow has um snow hasn't uh, finished melting yet. It's starting to melt, which is making me happy. I'm actually go outside and not freeze to death. You're lucky. You know, I feel so mad that you live in uh you live in uh, California, Ninja. You don't have to deal with the shit I deal with. Like what? Freezing cold temperatures. We still get cold here. Yeah, your your definition of cold is like 30 degrees. Ours is like minus 30, damn it. Is it just, I would love it. Is it just what? me or do the toads look like they're wearing Huggies diapers? <laughs> they kind of do. Also like how small I love how you know small Mario is like the the toad completely trumps him in size. <laughs> But it took me till I was about, like, 12 or so to realize this is supposed to be a winter world. Oh, yeah. Because they couldn't, you know, they, they, they couldn't actually code, uh, just a plain white thing for the bottom. It was 85, like, I'm really gonna expect, uh... Well, I guess if you kind of look at, like, some of the top bricks, you can see the white line. Yeah, I can, yeah, the trees are white, but that's about it. I don't know why, this makes, me, this makes me laugh just talking about the things about Princess Peach I told about earlier. Just watching the dialogue box, it's like... <laughs> it's really like, okay, why the fuck would you put yourself through this to save one woman? Here's the first one. It says, of course, the original thing, thank you Mario, but our princess is in another castle. The second one is, sorry pal, she ain't, she ain't here either. The third one. Thanks again, bud. Uh, you just missed her. Tough luck. Wow, you're really not- you're really good at not finding our princess. <laughs> oh, it oh, gets better. Oh god, the hammer bros fuck those guys. Oh, then here's the black- here's the black toad. Sorry, homie, bitch ain't around here- ain't around here either. I just- I just had to bring that up. Screw those hammer bros and everything they stand for. <laughs> you have- when I was a kid, oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> they killed me so many times. I can imagine. And then, the next one. How about this? The real princess was inside of, was inside of you all along. And then, then the penultimate one, which are you ready for this one, Neon? Are you ready for this one? So just say it, damn it. She's pregnant with Bowser's mutant lizard babies, I think. Okay. After the fly, after seeing the fly with the dream sequence, it's gonna take a bit more to impress me. And then at the last picture. <laughs> this is what the this is what the uh, toad says to Mario. Thank you, Mario. Our princess is a is a Goomba come dump, but I guess your quest is over, son. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, dude, wow, they literally use that word. It says anyway. We bring you a new bitch. Press B to slap that hoe like a domino. What the? F <laughs> this is a fan. This is a fan thing. No this guy made, but still, you don't think I know like, But still, if they actually said that in game, I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> I left my head off because that is just too hilarious. Just watching this and realizing. Did, did you say Goomba come dump? Come yep. dump, yeah. <laughs> yes, our princess is a Goom is a Goomba come dump, but I guess your course is over, oh, son. Oh, anyway, we're we sent you a new pitch. I really hope there there are kids not watching this right now. I really do. Because, <laughs> well, then again, it's what like 
what time is it for you, Reese? You probably uh, live in a... two thirty. Okay. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Oh, you live me. in you live in Eastern as well. All right. So, question. Yeah. Princess Peach or Princess Daisy? Or Rosalina? No. Oh shit! Uh, you brought one of these. Uh, it's gonna be a bit tougher. Every time I say Rosalina, it's like this huge demographic. I want a little more even comparison. I'm <laughs> okay. Personally, I. Shit. Thanks. <laughs> Paul. I actually have to. I the fact to think about this is kind of sad, but uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go Princess Peach. Just to be dead honest. Oh, but then there's more. There's hey, like. You know, I, you know, I prefer. I, I like my women simple, and she fits the demographic just fine. Then of course they they have actually now put in what is known as the Nintendo princesses, which do you know what they are? I don't get that. I really don't, and I know who those are. It's it's. If for those of you who don't know on the stream, it is, of course, the three we talked about before, and then there's actually ones that most people never think about, which is of course. Uh, the, the Koopa Kid. No, the one most people <laughs> never think about, which is, um, Samus Aran. I just picture Bowser in, like, drag right now, trying to join that group. <laughs> <laughs> and of course there's Zelda, but now they've added a new person you know, to that list recently. You know, you know, I gotta be honest, I always liked the idea of how Nintendo treated Samus as a character. They just said, she's a lady, just deal with it. Yeah. Then, and then that's the funny thing, they actually added two women to that list. That would be the one, um, goddess from the, oh, what game is that? Yeah, um, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus, yes. And then the one most people would kind of scratch their head in because she was introduced only because of <sighs> Smash Brothers. Do you know who that is? Uh, Zero Suit Samus? No. <laughs> Although that could be considered, but uh, no. Uh, Bayonetta? No. <laughs> no, she's... No, she, no, 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 no. Uh, I, Wii I, Fit I, Trainer? I hope she's in yes. the new Smash game. I really do. The Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> you know what? If they make a new Smash game, I hope Ben has been. I really do. Then, of course, there's the one that's the wild card. The wild card shall be named Crystal. Okay, you know what? It, honestly. The wild card, which makes me think why. I have spent way too much time on fucking sites like DeviantArt to say I have seen some shit, so. Oh, I couldn't. I'm, I'm with you, brother. Way too much time. So... Yeah. Why, why, uh, why, why no love for Pauline? I, I don't get this. Yeah, Pauline. Well, it's because she's only appeared in the original Donkey Kong. <laughs> and no one even knew that's what, that's what her well, name was. Well, well, to be dead honest, no one knew who Ness was when Smash Bros. came out, because no one bought his game. Exactly. And the fact is, they only made the first one and not the second one. I, I mean, the Stanley made the made the second one come out, but not the other two. And people are upset. They're like, "Why don't you bring the third? Why don't you bring the other ones over?" You know, just to bring this up again. I remember when I played Smash Brothers Brawl, I had to explain to my friends who Porky was when they got to that boss fight. I had to explain because I actually had the I actually got the fan translated and wanted to play Mother Three so badly. <laughs> And you know what's bad enough? Fans have actually gone and said, it, you know what, screw you, we're gonna make a sequel. No, I think the, well, here's the thing, they offered that translation for free, completely for free, and they turned it down. And I think, I think it works better as a trilogy, it really does, because, you know. I can understand that, but, I think yeah. it, mm, it works better as a trilogy, in fact, I like that it's called Mother, really, because it's, um, this is really is kind of a, a fantastic. If you look at it, it's really just a fantastical story of kids on a playground, you know. Yeah, I kind of understand the whole thing, but the one that really surprised me the most is the fact they went and decided we're gonna make our own game because Nintendo will never touch it. I I immediately just looked like you completely missed the point of this. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm just happy I got to play Mother Three. That's really what mattered. <laughs> I think that's what most people are just really mad at, because in Mother 3, like, what the ending was, everyone just decided, well, 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 there should be a sequel. The creator's done. He said he's done. Yeah, it's done, and you know what's bad enough? People will still, till the end of, the day, till the end of days, will still keep begging 
for a se for the sequel to come out. There will not be one. He's done. He's said multiple times, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. How no, old is like 70, 60 at this point? No, I mean, Mother 3 to America. Oh, oh, that's not actual, but... That because you're thinking, at least Mother 3 actually got a release on the Game Boy Advance, but even then they said nope. They, well, they had the fan tra I got to play the fan translated, and that's really what mattered. I got to play it, so I'm kind of done with that argument. It's like, I played it, you know? I experienced what I wanted to experience. That's it. There is one game I do want to get. I understand why Nintendo didn't bring it, though, because, like I said, the original sold horribly when it came to the States. Yeah, also because you sold it for how much? It goes for quite a bit, and it was marketed no, the, What? The original. The original sold, um, what, what its price was, or how much did it actually sell? Let's see, original price of the... How much was the original Earthbound cost? Too damn, uh, quite a bit. Let's see here... $97.52. My god. I made that up. Oh, <laughs> I actually believed you for a second. The game originally had an MSRP of 70 bucks. That's way more. How much did you pay for a game back then? Um, here's the thing though Nintendo followed the, the same strategy that they had in Japan, which was the companies made their own price. So it fluctuated all the time. Well, like I said, you know, I, I kind of... Mm. But yeah, it was... Yeah. yeah, what? Also, the fact is that it costs 70 bucks also is because it also came with the player... It also came with the strategy guide. I just like that I like that game, so I like that game. You know, I enjoy it. Especially yeah, I, love the, I fucking love the hippie still. That's one of my favorite enemies in any video game. Fight him, plays Johnny B. Good. But... Still one of my favorite enemies in any video game. How much is Earthbound right now? Uh, for a, a lot of money. I have a friend- On I have Amazon. A, on Amazon. I have a friend who owns it, he paid quite a bit for it. <laughs> what? How Apparently, much? someone is trying to sell Mother 3, saying that, Oh, this is a real game. It's not an official seal. Well, like I said, a copy, a Game Boy Advance copy does exist. I know people who own it. It's just, you know, can't, it's all in Japanese. No, no, no. This is saying this is the um, English translated version that oh. actually... Like, here's the thing, though. The picture has the official Nintendo seal, which it isn't. A very, very fake number that they put on there, like, you know, the identification number, saying it's rated E for everyone. Is it you even know, rated E? I think it's rated E10. Was that before that existed, I think? I don't know. Just the fact that some fans are going through as much as they can just because... It's... Just... It's not real. It'll never be... It'll never be released in America. There is no American version. Just let it go. What, People... Mother 3? Yeah, it's like there was no translated version here in America. It was never going to be, because, like I said, it's so light, the original sold like crap, and Nintendo doesn't really see the investment. Yeah, it never came over to America, and people are really pissed about it. They're like, why did you do this? Why? I was, well, I was, I was just part of the crowd, I'm like, okay, give me the franchise later version, played it. Do you want to come to America? No, I played it. What's the point of it coming to America? Yeah, I'm here's done. The, and here's the worst part, people have actually gotten, like, you know, blank cases, and gotten, like, you know, the... The inside PCB and all that, they basically ram, they basically ram hacked and basically uploaded it, and basically people are trying to sell this as a legit game. But all it is just a is a fan translation, so it's not real. All right, enough talking about Mother. I want to talk about Mario again now. <laughs> all stay, right, stay true to what is actually being played on the screen. Oh, you're at World Five. You could you know, we'll probably be finished this game. And Red Fox, is, Red Fox is having a hard time beating this game. Well, he played Sonic growing up, so... 
And he, here's the funny part. He said he's beaten, and here's the problem. He had a problem that World 1... He couldn't even beat World 1, really? He couldn't beat World 1 I, 4. I struggled by World 8, just... I struggle at World 8, if only because that those fucking jumps get really difficult. Like, that one pillar jump on World 8 1. Oh, God. Red... I can see how the Red Fox actually said he was... And I saw him. He was having difficulty, and I'm like, how? <laughs> You played Sonic growing up. That's how I look at this. If you played Sonic, you sucked at this game. That was the rule. That's it's kind of about mean. the natural progression of things. You start yeah, off with Atari, it's... you go to the NES, you go to the Sega, and you go back to the Nintendo with all the knowledge you learned. <laughs> it's. Oh, you know what's funny is that. Uh... No offense, but it really is one of those things. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of funny how like. What I'm also seeing about Mario games, like, do you remember Mario, t like Super Mario 2, what we got here in America? Oh, that the Doki Doki. I like that. Quite Actually, a still like here's, that game. Here's the funny part about this. Do you want Shy, to know what the Shy Guy became canon because of that game? No, 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 no. Here's the thing, though. Uh, Reese, you seem to be struggling with that jump. Here's I'm sorta, but I'm I'm managing. Okay. At least I was until I ran into that motherfucker. You'll see in a second. <laughs> okay, here's the funny part you guys are gonna find really interesting about the uh, Doki Doki Panic. In actuality, they wanted to make a sequel to Mario. But here's the thing though, Nintendo got a deal with Fuji TV to create a game that was with those characters. So in actuality, Super Mario 2, aka Super Mario USA, a. is in actuality is in actuality the real Mario game. You so, know, the ver so the version we got is actually the legit version. By the way, when it comes to Mario games, I'll never forget. People thought Mario was so good it was the payoff to an entire film. The Wizard. <laughs> that was the payoff for the whole movie was part of <laughs> I actually watched that with a few friends a couple nights ago. That was... That movie has... You know, looking at that as a grown man, you, you see a real cynical part of that movie. And you just feel... Did I really did I, enjoy did this that? movie actually get funding and get released? Like... Like, you look through yourself and you think, Did I really enjoy this? It, it was... We were kids back then. I had a home video version of The Wizard, despite the fact I went to see the movie with my mother. How did I repay my love for The Wizard? I took the movie and taped over it. That's... That's wow. good. You know, you, you know what? You, know what you, you want to know what I taped over it with? What did you do? Porn? What? A movie called Back It Up. I've never heard of this movie, but part of me feels like there's a reason for well, that. Well, you already answered the question before I even said the name of the title. Yes, it's a porn. <laughs> it was my first ever porn. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't do the you know, you, you know what? You, you may as well take the, the movies about the same quality of one, so you may as well. <laughs> I still can't believe you did that. And let me guess, you did the old tape over the whole thing? Uh, be, fu be funny, they're like, you just start with the opening of The Wizard, he tapes over the entire middle of the movie, and then it <laughs> ends with the ending of The Wizard. Do you know about the whole uh, tape trick? Uh, I really do that. They, uh, the HSs are kind of rare now, so... Uh, the one where you put tape over that, over that, that little notch? Which yeah. Which was basically DRM. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was the only way you could do that back in the day. It was essentially the same as flipping that little that little notch on a floppy. Oh yeah. I have a couple movies. I actually there's not on VHS. I own a couple movies you can't even get on DVD. So I have a movie called Nom Angels. I've never actually watched. It just sits there and the cover's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Alright, we're at, uh, okay, we're still at World 5. 
What happened there? Nothing happened. Uh, I was having trouble with some jumps. No, like, I just somehow just got disconnected from yeah, Mumble. That shit, sometimes the Mumble does that. But, yeah, I'm a... actually... Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. There is actually a follow-up to the whole, uh, wizard porn story. Eventually, oh, this ought to be fun! Um, a couple of years later, the folks found out that I had, in fact, uh, had porn in, in my possession. They took it, taped over, taped over it again with some Western, and then I taped over it again with um, wrestling. This 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 VHS tape is like a Pandora's box. It is. <laughs> it pretty much is. And I remember the exact episode of WCW Nitro that I had taped over it with. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh god, dude. Any details you can recount? It was the episode where the NWO re revealed their newest member. The baddest man on the planet, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> what? That had, that had been an awesome name card. That would have been interesting. That would have been... Well, to be fair, there was this weird moment. I think an actor won, like, a wrestling belt, and it was for a promotion for this movie about wrestling. Uh, David Arquette. Yes, David Arquette, I remember that. It was about this. It was uh, yeah. to remote Ray to Rumble, which was a horrible fucking movie that did horrible numbers in the box office. Did nothing for Warner Brothers. Did nothing for WCW. But, oh, Vince Russo was like, you know, ba even bad publicity is good publicity. I don't believe that. I don't, I don't either. I, I also don't believe I didn't jump when I should have. Oh, here's the funny part. Well, that, the, thing uh, about, the thing about the whole term bad publicity. Here's the thing. If you have too much bad publicity, people don't look, you know, look at you with, you know, oh, that's interesting. No, they just look at you as bad company and bad person. When you have you know so what? much bad publicity, you cannot do anything right. Oh, yeah. Also, here's the funny part I found out really interesting recently. Um, Hugh Jackman was actually once on Raw a few years ago. And, of course, this is all during his height as uh, Wolverine. Um, the game was on he... music. Funny part of, here's the funny part of the whole thing, is that he went on stage, and Dolph Ziggler comes out, and what does he, what does Hugh Jackman do? He decided, you know, because like wrestling, like, you know, you're supposed to do ways of actually pretending to hit somebody. He punched accidentally... him, didn't he? He punched Dolph Ziggler straight in the jaw and fractured his jaw. That's kind of awesome. And you know what the funny part is that of course he was doing the acting of Wolverine, so it basically kind of made the whole joke that oh shit, he really is Wolverine. He broke his jaw. Well, <laughs> keep in mind those were he worked to get those freaking muscles, man. Oh yeah, I mean, and plus he was actually gonna try to hit him in the chest, but he missed and he got him straight in the jaw with a right, with like his, with like a right punch. So he was like, Dolph Ziggler was out for a few for a while while his jaw was getting back in place, but still, Dolph Ziggler was like, that was one of the most awesome things ever. I got punched by, Wait, I got punched by Wolverine. Well, is this continues, or I'm guessing you're safe stating? Uh, just the standard continue. Uh, I thought this game didn't have continues. Whole day and press start at the title. Oh. However, you, however, you only start at the at the first level of the world you were at. So if you die <laughs> on five four, you have to start at five one. Oh, I didn't know that as a child. Now I feel incredibly, incredibly sad. I had the Wait. power. Nintendo Wait, power. people don't. People didn't know that. I didn't know. This. I was me neither. I was eight. God damn it! What did you expect me to do? You know, I. I thought that was common knowledge, but now more and more I'm listening to people and like they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing though, I never owned a Nintendo system. And I, 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 I had this game on Game Boy Color, and it's but basically the same damn thing. Do you know what my first Nintendo game system was? Take a wild guess. Was it the N64? I want the GameCube. Really? Yes. Well, I'm being, that, that I'm being sure upon us that the Nintendo 64 was, I mean, the, the Game Boy, I mean, the GameCube was my very first system out of any Nintendo system I bought for myself. We never had a Nintendo console. 
I had my cousin who had an NES and an N64, and I had a friend that had a Super Nintendo, a Super Nintendo, but I never owned an NES system. I I actually one of the first consoles I bought was the N64 because I felt you know enough with waiting for and you know thought fuck it I want to get a console now so I got the N64. Guess what the first game I played with a couple friends was? What? Mario Party Three. Oh, how bad now, was your palm? What? It was bad. I'm aware of that mini game. And what happened was, it started off we were laughing and having fun, and then we proceeded to get more and more cynical until about the, we were playing a 50 turn game, mind you. Oh no! Why? This went on for four hours. Why? Because we were fucking idiots. Okay, we were children. And I've, I, we got more cynical, more angry, till the very end. I just said, you know what, fuck it. I took the car to just throw it. I'm, like, I'm done with this. I'm Ever not sure again. who Is saw that, that but I, 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 just, uh, I, I just now had a little bit of an accident behind the chair. <laughs> oh. really? I was attempting to grab some cartridges off my shelf, and um, two of them slipped off the top. And, of, and in my attempt to reach them, my headphones slipped off, and the battery popped out. Nah, <laughs> don't worry. But yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna share my my first ever NES games were, uh, aside from the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt pack in, I also got the Legend of Zelda, ah, as well as this guy. I'm waiting for it to show up. What was all that gold card? Oh, let me see. Uh, what is that? I can. Karnov? Car. Oh. Karnov is probably uh. He's an interesting person. His power is that he is a fat guy. That breathes. Never fireballs. heard of this one. He's a fat guy who breathes fireballs, and he's off to off to uh collect treasure. At least that's the that's the goal of the game. He is off to 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 get a treasure from an. From sort of, some sort of ancient dragon, at least that's the American story. Uh, the Japanese story is that um, some sort of satanic dragon has taken over the world, and the gods send Karnov down to save the world. Yeah, this, is a, this sounds like a weird game. It's it's a weird game, but it's also fun. I did stream it. If you want to go through my archives and uh, and check it out. I'll although probably do although that. you would probably have to do it the hard way, since um, right now we don't have a wiki. <laughs> That's fine. I also I'll... got the I also got Mario Three for the Famicom. Good. And you may recognize this title. Just from looking at it, you won't be able to see the, the through the Japanese text, but maybe yeah. if I recognize the drawing. You may recognize Mario Three. You may recognize the character on the side. Oh, is that fucking Bayou Billy? That is, in fact, Mad City. The easy oh. version of Bayou Billy. Mad City. God damn, I remember that one. Mad City, indeed. Um, Konami, where it was complete dicks. They, they ported the game over here, but they made it harder. They did that. A lot of people did that, though, back in the day. Just they were uh, to, just because they were they wanted to be dicks to us gaijin. I also have one more game. You mentioned this a while back, uh, a couple minutes ago. There it is. Are you Billy? Um, you mentioned this a couple a couple moments ago. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. Ah, that was a damn good port. And for the record, I've also got Sonic and Knuckles. I don't know why I plucked that out of my out of my toy chest, but there it is. I never had the combo. I had. Uh, I never actually had the cartridge, so I could never play them separately. And Sega's never released them as one game. Like I have the Genesis collection, and they're both separate. There's no way to actually link them together. And for those that are going to XP Fest, I am bringing it. Jason requested it. I am bringing it. I'm going to wait for it to show up. Oh, my sweet God. Oh, boy. I see what game it is.
Uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man versus. It's a it, it's a four player Pac-Man game where you and three ghosts are running around a maze. One player plays with a Game Boy Advance. Oh boy. And the ghosts have to try and hunt down Pac-Man. So it's basically Evolve before Evolve. All right. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Pac-Man's got to go gobble up the do- all the dots, and the ghosts, well, they've got to get Pac-Man. That sounds actually kind of interesting, because... I'll also, be bringing, I'll also be bringing this because, well, four-player uh, car-crunching action. Who doesn't like that? Or, oh, car crunch. Let's see this. It, it's got several different modes. There's like a, there's like a cops and robbers kind of game. There's a capture the capture the flag kind of game. There's um, simple race to race to the end. Wait, this was by Pandemic, the company who made this. Uh, I think Rockstar made it. Oh, I thought that was Pandemic logo for a second there. No, that was that was the R. However, okay. it was made by a company called Angel Studios. Uh, and of course, it was Rockstar used to publish games. They don't really publish games anymore. Yeah, they, now they now they just make them all in house. Yeah, they they published Max Payne and then they made Max Payne. I would but like I, to. I would like. I would like to see another um another tabletop tennis game. Yeah, they they never yeah. Still making that Grand Theft Auto Five money though, so it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I died again. Yes. I'm, I'm seriously thinking of doing what you know. I've been thinking about this. If I ever go to XP Fest, I'm thinking of just trying to do a 50 turn Mario Party marathon to see how long we go before we just get say fuck it and quit. Do you want to have another session of... I, with you people? Hell yes. It'd be fun. It'd be really bad and angry, but it'd be funny as hell, I'm pretty sure. Do you want us to turn this into Monopoly? No, I, I play Monopoly. Monopoly is not a game for me. It's a grueling nine-hour endurance test. Only if you have people that are on the same level as you. If you are, if you are a smarter businessman, you can actually turn it into a 45-minute endurance, 45 minute endurance test. Yeah, that's the thing about Monopoly is that losing a Monopoly, I've said, I don't know if I've said this, but I'm pretty sure I have, but losing a Monopoly is so different from losing any other game. <laughs> you know? Like, you lose it like a, a board game, you're like, oh, you lost, that's it. Monopoly, it's like, alright, you've lost your home, you've lost your money, you've lost your business, you're homeless now. And now I'm going to take the money that you've earned and kill your friends with it. But yeah, I was about to ask, uh, would it be easier if I just brought my Monopoly and we could just play that? <laughs> it would be. At, at least mine's that a Monopoly lot more board looking... Sorry, what? At least mine's a lot more shinier. Yeah, I've seen the board. That looks like a really nice board for a game that I despise with vengeance. <laughs> Although I'm a little afraid, because um, several people have already said that if I do bring it, they will burn it. I will burn. I will be one of the people who burns it. I'm. No, no offense, but God, this this game has destroyed me sometimes. If I can't. Think, if you think that's bad, try um, try a, a special set of rules that my aunt invented. What did they do? She refused to play the game without houses or hotels. Oh my sweet god. How do you play Monopoly without houses and hotels? I don't know this. You, you, you don't actually. I can't even think of a joke. It's that insane. You can't smash the other players. In fact, in fact, we always wound up giving up after two hours and just counted our money and, and our properties and called a night. That's another thing I fucking hated about Monopoly. Dad, all, my dad always won because his bedtime was later. Dad always fucking won. Yeah, that sounds like cheating. Yeah, he knew he was cheating. He knew it. He knew I had to go to school tomorrow. My house, my rules, fuck you. Yes, and if you want, and, it, yeah, and even if you do win, where the hell are you gonna live, son? 
You may win Monopoly, but you will be homeless and hungry. Nintendo's got to make a way for you to jump below the flagpole. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that. It'll probably never happen, but I'm still waiting for it. you go with warps. Oh, seriously? That, uh, that special warp zone in, in World 4-2 with the, with the mush, with the mushroom platforms and shit. Yeah, it only takes the World 6. Also, they changed around a couple of the uh, a couple of the levels to match that of uh, the lost levels. Six three. Oh is, really? Six three had become six. Um, let's see, six three had become world four three or something like that from the lost levels, which includes that really really nasty bullshit jump, which requires you to jump the full distance that you can run while that you can jump while running and you're required to bounce off of a Koopa. I just noticed the colors are really washed out on this world. It's supposed to be an ice world, but eh. It look it looks just really depressing. <laughs> like Mario's questioning, what am I doing with my life? Why am I trying to save this woman all the time? This just looks- this world really looks ugly, now that I look at it. And, and that bullet- only, And it's the only one that's like this. Just notice also that bullet bill placement was complete dog crap. Yep. There really was no way to avoid that. And there- there could have been a way to avoid that- that- that, uh, fireball, but, eh, I should- I should have just stopped. It's all about knowing when to put- when to hit the brakes. It really is this game just building up momentum and knowing when to stop. Sorry about that, something happened. The arcade game should have come with gas pedals. <laughs> that would have actually been hysterical. Move the... Fucking hate them. Oh god. Yeah, this is when I was starting to struggle with the game, this part. He just starts throwing hammers. And he gets them literally probably out of his ass. He's like, alright, here we go. Where else Where does he keep them? I just could imagine he's doing that and it's like, Eat this Mario! Oh shit, I don't want that on me! I don't want that to hit me! Why not? That came from your ass! I'm still so always gonna know that guy up there is the cameraman. <laughs> Thank you, Mario 6. I'm always gonna remember him for that. I think that everyone one. will. I, it's just, I still love that little, because that, that really is just... That really is just the game kind of making fun of itself. <laughs> oh. But that makes me wonder, is that guy following you everywhere you go now? Because that has to yep. be cool. Really? <laughs> he's like, I am the paparazzi. Yeah, because I always wonder, it's like, well, he's... Because in order to do that, he'd actually have to be there. Because, you know, the tech wasn't there at the time, so... 
Dude, he is the paparazzi. He is the pap. He's in every, every sports game. He's the paparazzi. Every single one of these Mario sports games. So I think tennis was the best one though. That one was actually fun. I can just imagine Mr. Jugum as some kind of Hollywood reporter. <laughs> He's like one of those scumbag paparazzi guys. <laughs> One of those guys that's always stalking Princess, to uh, Princess Peach. He's got the neck beard. He wears the the, the vest with the plaid. You know, way too over energetic about small things. Wait, Could you ever see? see? Waiting for that one moment where where Peach exposes like a leg or something and, and snaps a picture. <laughs> well, actually, if you think about what they do, what they did in uh, for the promotion for for Brawl. They kind of showed enough of Peach. Keep in mind that Brawl is kind of Nintendo saying, yes, we own all this shit. Come at it, you know what I mean? That was, no, here's something even worse. They actually admitted that Peach, they actually showed underskirt of her, and they actually showed it, they actually showed from Nintendo themselves on their website, they actually showed a lot of underskirt from Peach, and I'm like, why? They think that was melee. Uh, they think that was the melee as well, because yeah, Peach did. kicked rather high. Yeah, that's the thing, though, and I'm like, why do you do this? Like, they even actually showed this, and like, so, yeah. Melee, really, still remember Melee, to me, was kind of an amazing moment, because I actually got to play as Bowser. That was an utterly amazing moment. Ooh. <laughs> so, I find it awesome that, uh, Brawl also had, uh, Solid Snake and, uh, Sonic in there. No oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a guy on Amazon who's willing to sell this with Amazon Prime for $900. You know, I'm sorry, no. I, I just thought of Metal Gear again for some reason. I think back to the tutorial. I just want to bring this up because it just popped in my head randomly and I'm chuckling about it. Have you ever seen the tutorial from Peace Walker Ninja? Have you seen it? No, I didn't. It's the most unsubtle tutorial I have ever seen in a video game. I'll put it like this. The, the commanding officer is literally saying, press this button and this button. Complete, and this is all meant to be taken seriously. <laughs> It's kind of something you have to see to believe. I just thought of it again. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's wrong, Reese. You died again, didn't you? You'll see. As long as there's no...